The Red Rock Black Mesh Upper Grill replacement that we have here today is currently one of the most popular options available for the 09 to 12 Ram owners who might be looking for a simple way to black out that grill but without spending a ton of money. Now the Red Rock option will combine a durable ABS plastic mesh build finished in a black paint here, all for right around 170 bucks. So as I pointed out at the top of this video, guys, the Red Rock Grill is currently one of the most popular options for the fourth gen trucks for the simple fact that it delivers a killer look, but at a very affordable price point. Now, if you've browsed the site a little bit here for maybe some other blackout grill options, chances are you probably stumbled across quite a few. But in my opinion, the Red Rock, again, is going to deliver perhaps one of the cleanest looks when installed at probably one of the most affordable prices in the category. But price point aside, let's take a closer look at the build and very simple throughout, right? First and foremost, you're gonna find that durable yet very lightweight ABS plastic construction for both the mesh itself in the middle along with the surround. And that has been finished off in a matte black paint job. Stealthy, sleek, it looks great. Now the grill itself has been designed to factory specs using OEM CAD data. And as a result, it's going to fit like a glove. Now this is a complete replacement here, guys. It's not some overlay or it's not an insert. So because of that, there's no need for any cutting or crazy modification. Another thing I do like to point out with something like this is that it will actually open up a little bit more airflow to the front end of the truck, which should aid in cooling. But before we get into the install, I just wanna remind you guys to check out some of the customer reviews along with the customer submitted images on the Red Rock Grill because there are over 100 four and five star reviews to read up on and a healthy amount of images to go along with those reviews. So check them out. It gives you a great idea of what this might look like on your truck at home and listen to some fellow Ram owners about the fitment and all that other good stuff. But now we do wanna give you a better idea of how the install will go down at home. And the site's gonna call this pretty strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. Maybe two hours or so of your time to complete from start to finish, depending on how fast you guys like to work. Uh, but regardless, to give you a better idea of just how exactly the install will go down, here is an AT customer to walk you through it. These are the tools you're gonna to need. I have two uh, trim class clip holders, a full screwdriver. Three socket wrench. I have a 10 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter impact socket, a 3 8 uh, impact wrench, and then a uh, dual impact. And then I'm going to be using this tray just to keep uh, loose bolts. First off, we're going to pull these four clips, two in the middle, and then one on each end. I'm gonna use an impact wrench. If you don't have one, you can just use your normal socket wrench. As you can see, there's a clip down on this corner right here. You're gonna to wanna to reach down here to put pressure on the bottom and then almost open it like you're opening a door. You're not gonna to wanna to pull straight back, you're almost gonna to wanna to swing it. It'll pop off just like that. Right, so you have all these brackets, but they only fit, they can only fit one way, so you don't have to worry about putting them in the right spot. Just pull them up to the corners. And then these ones will go on the top corners. They're almost gonna snap in like that. Um, and then you'll put two of your Phillips head screws on each one. I'll snap them all in first and we'll come back and screw them down. These ones on the bottom, they can go in either spot, but I'm going to keep them the way the sock was and face the angle towards the outside. So that'll pop in right. And this one do the same thing on this side. It'll go in there. Right, 
For this, I'm just gonna use a screwdriver. I don't wanna strip off the plastic with the impact, so. All you have to do on these is get them snug. Next, we're gonna have these two that go on the top. So these have to go facing the uh, hollow side down. You're gonna want this smooth end on the top because that's what you're gonna bolt it back down to. These slits line up with right here. That way, you know which one goes which. So pop in like that. Next, you're gonna have these two little uh, steel clips. These are gonna go right on bottom of these factory clips. You're just gonna slip these over the bottom just like that. And then do the same for this side right here. Just, just pop right over like that. Now, you want to line these up. This bottom flip is going to go right in this slot, and then this is going to catch into here. Same with this slide. After you get those snapped in, you're ready to use your factory bolts bolt back down the top. Now, make sure when you bolt them back down, you're using the fine thread going into the steel. And then the, these will go back into the outside. And these are on this outside. So as soon as you get to all four bolts in, last thing you have to do is come back to that plastic trim. Stick this back down. So, and then pop the clips right back in. So if you are looking to give your fourth gen an aggressive yet affordable facelift, then you'll want to check out the Red Rock Mesh Replacement right here at AmericanTrucks.com.